to get into McKinnon's Harbor, but it all filled in, uh, and that may be one of the reasons for that big pile of sediment. It is uh, part of what they filled in. Uh, it's hard to tell, unless they've been mining it. There you get a view looking on the back side of the uh, peninsula that runs along the front of McKinnon's Harbor. It's about a 50 meter relief, 15, 20 meter relief to that uh, peninsula. Coming down again, you get a good view of the old entrance. Coming by the new entrance to McKinnon Harbor, you can see it's constrained by uh, all the riprap on the entranceway and it looks as if there may be a, uh, a wharf put in there occasionally. But it's certainly uh, constrained, and, but very shallow open to small boats. As we go along the outer shore one more time, we'll have a quick look at this uh, old inlet. And um, it looks like it's been artificially filled uh, and closed off possibly. The barrier itself is very narrow, and we'll just, we're just going about uh, 80 knots, and we're just going to carry on where we were before, towards McKinnon Point. As you can see here, the scarp is about 15 meters high, uh, reddish, uh, sandy, silty uh, till uh, with scattered cobble boulder on the, the base of the cliff, as well as exposures of bedrock, which look to be gypsum. We're in the Windsor group along here. As we come up on the McKinnon Point, there's two or three small barriers with ephemeral entrances. Uh, Looks like they've been opened and now have been closed again, overwashed. Um, just looking down at some people. And uh, they have put some riprap in front of their cottage. Um, and then there's several barriers linking to McKinnon Point.